my darlings. This is Mrs. Welch from the Cavendish Fletcher Community Library, and I have a story for you. It's called Little Tree by Lauren Long. Now, you might remember the name Lauren Long because he writes the Otis books. Little Tree. Once there was little tree, a little tree filled with little leaves who was surrounded by other little trees who had little leaves of their own. In the heat of long summer days, little tree's leaves kept him cool. The squirrels would climb up on his branches to play. The morning dove landed in him and sang her flutey song. The little tree was sure to grow up big and strong. Autumn arrived and cool winds filled the air. The wind tickled the little tree as it passed through his branches and ruffled his leaves. The air grew cold and the leaves on all the trees changed color, becoming yellow and red and orange. Then, one by one, the little trees began to drop their leaves. But not little tree. He just hugged his leaves tight. Hello, little tree, said a squirrel. You're supposed to drop your leaves now. But little tree was unsure. What would he do without his leaves? Winter came. What are you doing with your leaves still on you? Asked the doe. Little tree hugged his leaves tight. Springtime arrived and the little forest burst into life again. The old other trees grew bright new leaves. The squirrels played in their branches. Little tree could hear the morning dove singing her flutey song. The seasons continued to come and go. Little tree, quacked a duckling, your leaves are brown. Are you feeling sick? A fox said, little tree, it's autumn. It's time for you to dump your leaves. You can do it. Ready? One, two. But little tree hugged his leaves tight. All around him, the forest grew and grew. One summer, a little tree could no longer feel the sunlight. The squirrels played high, abo high above on the broad, tall trees, and the morning dove sang so far away that he could hardly hear her flutey song. Autumn came again. Leaves began to blanket the ground. Little tree looked up at the other trees, at their branches rising high in the sky. He remembered when the trees had all been his size. And then he let go. As his last leaf floated to the ground for the first time, little tree felt the harsh cold of winter. But in time, something happened. Once, there was a little tree. And now, my darlings, you can see it's a big one. And this has been Mrs. Welch from the Cavendish Fletcher Community Library. We'll see you soon.